Budjo Banton accuses government of ploy to urge Maroon Chief. Hi, this is Camila McDonald coming to you live from Camila's Kitchen, live from Levels, and you are watching Big Stone TV. Grammy Award winning reggae artist Budjo Banton has put the Jamaican government and blast for what he described as another ploy with criminal intent to hurt another citizen of this country. This after news that Richard Curry, Colonel of the Kampung Maroons in St. Elizabeth, has been found to be in breach of the nation's firearm act. Banton made the allegation in an Instagram live post on Tuesday, in which he heard citizens to be wary of what he said was a government system of oppression and firmly declare you cannot kill our chief. In most recent times, like today, the Jamaica Observer published an article stating that the Maroon Chief is in breach of the Jamaica Firearms Act, which we clearly see as a blatant ploy by the Jamaican Crime Minister to hurt this young man and hurt many of us who stand up and see the blatant wickedness and criminality being perpetrated by the Jamaican politicians on the populace. Banton said in the footage, now making the rounds on social media. The singer also used the opportunity to highlight Jamaica's struggle with criminality, indicating that here in Jamaica, the criminals have more guns than the legal, lawful people them. The criminals run around wanton. We have police criminals, soldier criminals, all kind of criminal, and our crime minister's friend are the biggest criminals and they have all the guns in the country. So when you want to label the chief of having an illegal weapon because you want to destroy him and destroy him credibility, it is not right and we want the world to keep a close look at this. Responding to questions from the Jamaica Observer on Tuesday at an FLA press conference at the AC Hotel in St. Andrew, Chief Executive Officer of the Firearm Licensing Authority, Shane Darling, revealed that Curry was issued with two gun permits which are now out of date. Based on my checks, Mr. Curry is in breach. His license is not up to date. He has not done the renewal process and as such, the matter has been referred to the police for them to assist, Darling said. Let me hear your comment in the comment section below. Do you agree with Gargamel that there is a direct uh, aim to discredit the credibility of Chief Richard Curry by the then government? Let me hear how you feel about the story. Please like and please share this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time for you to do so. Thank you.